call is Representative Chris Schultz. Thank you, Mr. Chair and the committee. I don't think it's uh, normal. It's not an every bill thing for a committee member to jump from the table and come testify. But I grew up in one of the states that has multiple time zones. 26 years of my life, I thought, maybe this experience would be helpful. And I did look it up. Here are all the states that have more than one time zone. Nebraska, Kansas, Texas, North and South Dakota, Florida, Michigan, Indiana, Tennessee, Alaska, and Kentucky, where I grew up. And I grew up in the, on the, the western edge of the eastern time zone. It's really nice. Even at Christmas time, it's light out to like 6 o'clock. Of course, we're closer to the Kentucky, but um, it definitely made a difference when I moved here because I now have seasonal affective disorder. And... Maybe it wouldn't be so bad if we switch to that. But really, I'm saying this and wanted to speak not because of that, but because it's really not that com It sounds complicated because you're not used to it. It's like a lot of things in life. You know, we have one really easy way to adapt to it, and that's clocks are everywhere. Whether you have a smartphone or a dumb phone, clocks in airports, for example. Like, I flew for Christmas time. I got diverted through Chicago. So I was in the eastern zone, and then I switched to the central zone, and then when I landed at my next flight, it was in the eastern zone. It's not that hard. You have a phone, you have a watch, you have clocks. It just sounds different and difficult because we haven't experienced it before. And in that sense, it's, I just wanted to say, like, how do all these states deal with it then? I worked, um, my first jobs out of college were in Kentucky. I worked for the Kentucky Democratic Party on some elections. And the polls close in one half of the state at 6 o'clock, and then in the central time zone at 6 o'clock. And it was bipartisan because it happened with the Republicans too. And it really is just something you're used to. You know, drive a half an hour south from Louisville, and then you're in the central time zone. You just know that's how it is. Plus, they put signs on the highways. And if we're willing to do this with other states' participation, a lot of the perceived difficulties will go away. People who travel a lot for work, they're doing this all the time. It's not rocket science. It's simple. It's, it's just a simple matter of clocks. Um, there's a lot more I could say, but I, I will add this point, because the school time didn't change uh, for us in the western part of the eastern time zone. And all the bus stops have lighted areas. It wasn't a big deal, but it was nice to come home and still have that many more to have that extra sunny time uh, for your personal time was really nice. So anyway, as someone who grew up in this situation, thought maybe people might have a question or two. Yeah. Yes. Well, anyway. yes, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. It was that thing. Can you please, can you give me an example about uh, when it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon? And in Kentucky, yeah, what what time it, it is there? Right now, it's also three o'clock in the in the eastern half of the state, but it's two o'clock in the other half of the state. Um, yeah, it's well, just now, normal. I'm, I'm yeah, sorry. part well, of the completely half of the state is in the central time zone currently. So one and hour. It's the same for Tennessee as well. One hour difference, or yeah, just an hour. Thank you. So, quick question. Sure. Yeah. We're talking time zones here. Yeah. Here we're talking about those states still do daylight savings time, correct? True. So that's not comparing the same because they're going backwards four months out of the year where we wouldn't be. So we wouldn't be like comparing one time zone to another time zone that's central. To. That's correct. But living in areas with that close of a line was just no big deal. I mean, whether you have a smartphone or not, we have access to clocks. Um, and if anything, the research shows ditching daylight savings time would be healthy for everybody. Um, I don't want to double what Representative McGuire said, but the research, there's no decent reason to have daylight savings time, which I think is the purpose of the bill when it was originally presented a few years ago, was to ditch daylight savings time because it's healthier to not have it. Um, so you're right in what you said, but, and why I wanted to speak is because we have that difference right there, you know, where I grew up. And many states deal with that. 
So it would just be something you would have to deal with twice a year, just like we do already, but only in the consciousness of when we cross a border. Um, Did you just say you were okay with ditching daylight savings time? Yes. So you're for the bill? Yes. yes. Okay, because I was clear? really confused. Really? I <laughs> felt like I was being very strongly no, in support no, no. of the bill. I wasn't really? sure you were against it until you said that statement. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Right? Is that emergent? <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. Just to follow up again the question, if we elect to go down this road, and given the fact we have such close ties with the state of Massachusetts, and we're now in the same time zone called the Atlantic time zone, if they decide to go to daily savings time for whatever reason, what would we do? It would be the same as any other situation where you have a difference. You know, like all the examples I listed before. Like if you fly from one airport to the other, you know the time has changed. Um, there are signs on the highways. There are certainly clocks at airports. Any place where you would go that has an entry to that area, maybe with the exception of a boat, I guess, um, you would just know by signs and you would adapt like we already do. I don't know. I mean, I haven't experienced that specifically, but um, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're right. you just have to adapt. Not rocket science. So oh, sure. Thank you, Mr. Chair. <laughs> um, I recall when the previous bill came up, the point was made that some of the schools on the extreme western border of New Hampshire. Um, Students go to school actually in Vermont, and the point was made that if New Hampshire's time changed, it could work difficulties for the families that are sending their kids to school for different clock times in Vermont. I'm curious, when you went to school in Kentucky, did you go to school in the same time zone as where you were living? Yes, and so I can't say what so that you didn't have to Sure, do. they would have to adapt. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. Um, yeah, they would know when they go to school it's a different time. Can, if you don't mind me bouncing off of that, it, if, I'm, if I'm thinking the math, math or the time zone correct, in the case of Vermont, it would, if the Vermont school started at 7 a.m., it would be 8 a.m. in New Hampshire, right? Or am I think? Or am yes, I backwards? you're right. Okay, so I, I don't know that that would be necessarily a disadvantage in the sense that they wouldn't have to wake up earlier because we would be an hour ahead of them. I, I suppose that if the Vermont children were going to school in New Hampshire, that would be worse. Yes. Than it would be f for the other way. Yes. Um, so I don't, I don't know that I, I don't know if that's necessarily a disadvantage well, for, I, for New Hampshire students that have to happen to go to Vermont for school. That's true. And I would also say there are people who work at um, just south of Fort Knox that travel to Louisville for work and because the time zone line is right there they have to know that there's an hour difference between where they live and where they work. Yeah, I'll follow up for that. It was mentioned that by the, by the previous person that nine months out of the year we would match the eastern time zone in three months. I'm just looking for clarification to make sure I've got this correct. Three months out of the year we would be in Atlantic distinctly. Six months out or is it of the six year. months? Whatever it is, April to November, whenever the, the change happens. We would have a six-month difference in time zones if folks stayed with daylight savings time in other states. And we did not in adopt this bill. That's correct. So six months, roughly. Or March to November. Yeah. Whenever the clocks change. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Other questions? So I just want to make clear, I am for this bill. <laughs> 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 I, I never knew I was so uh, vague about it.